hello everyone so in this tutorial i will discuss about a very important database that is keg database and this database is used to see the various pathways of your particular gene means if you want to know that your specific gene is involving in any metabolic pathway or any kind of pathway or not so you can make the use of this keg pathway so through this keg pathway database you can find out the various pathways in which your gene of interest is involving so first of all what this k e g g stand for so this stand for kyoto encyclopedia of genes and genome now let's move to the web page of this keg database so for this just you come to your browser and in the google enter k e g g that is keg database here the first site that is www.genome.jp this keg so this is the main url of the keg database and you can enter here just by clicking here so like i'm just clicking now this is the home page of keg pathway database here you can find out the various pathways in which your gene has been involved so how you will find out that whether your gene is involved in any pathway or not so for this there are lots of option you can see here so first of all like this is the home page and here this keg pathway here you can see about the metabolism of carbohydrate energy lipid nucleotides amino acid and so on and these are some other options like genetic information processing environmental information processing cellular process means if you want to know about these processes so you can click here so in this video i will show you that how you can find out the various pathways of your gene so for that instance you just click on this gene as you click here now you will have some options the first is gene means if you want to search for your specific gene then just type the name of gene here or you can also search by the organism name by typing the name here so now i am just showing you by the gene name so just type here the gene like for example i am typing insulin and just click go as you click go so now the results are just in front of you here these are the various you can say various organisms in which your gene is present so you can click either of them like first i am just clicking on the first one hsa and this 8471 this is the keg identifier so this number is the keg identifier so just i am just clicking on the first one as i click here now a new table is just open and here first the entry means the identifier number and the symbol the symbol given to this insulin gene that is irs4 chng4 irs4 etc name so name is insulin receptor substrate and organism hsc that is homo sapien so now it is showing the result of homo sapien because we just selected the first one that was for homo sapien now these are the different pathways in which your gene has been involved so just to click on the pathway you will find out your position of gene in that particular pathway like for example i am just clicking on the first pathway that is cyclic gmp pkg signaling pathway so just open it either you can click it or i am just opening in the new tab so here as i opened in the new tab this is that metabolic pathway or you can say signaling pathway in which your gene is involved how to see your gene so just you can zoom in or zoom out this uh, this pathway by changing the scale so you can change the scale according to your screen and like i'm just this one so now it is perfect for me so where is our gene so here this red color the gene which is in this red outline and written is the red color that is our gene that is insulin gene which 
for that we just searched irs gene these are the various pathways in which our gene is involved so you can clearly see that these are the pathway these are the immediate uh, you can say the molecules or the pathways in which it is directly involved and these are certain other pathways in which it is indirectly involved so if you want to know about any of this gene you can click on the name of that gene and you will be directly moved to that page like just i am showing you as i click here so now i am on the another page and in that the name is general transcription factor 2i because i clicked on that gene so i am just coming back to that page here so this is the you can say the complete pathway that is one pathway that is cyclic gmp pkg signaling pathway and if you want to see other information about this pathway so just click here the pathway entry and in the pathway entry you will get the more information like again name that is the name of pathway is cyclic gmp pkg signaling pathway of homo sapiens that is humans and this is the description of the cyclic amp uh, pathway and here this is again the same pathway map which i just shown you earlier and these are the various drugs which are involved in this pathway so by this there are lots of information you can explore lots of information is there these are the certain other genes like these you can clearly see these are some other genes and these are the reference section means the reference or the various uh, publications in which that data has been published also given there so you can just scroll down and see this complete table to get the complete information about your particular pathway now i'm just clicking again on the back and i will again on the same page so you can also download this pathway by clicking here is this download button and you have the two option either in the kgml pathway or in the image that is in the png format and there are the various menu you can also change the pathway type by clicking here as you click here so it will show you again that you can now choose the another organism specific for that particular gene so you can change your organism here like i am just selecting the hsa so we are seeing the result of homo sapien gene so by this way you can check that on in which pathways your gene of interest means the gene you have is involved similarly if you click on the other pathway so it will show you the position of your gene on the other pathway like here again now the pathway has been changed here now the pathway is foxo signaling pathway so you can see here this irs again in the red outline and the red letters is our gene and these are the pathway in which our gene is involved so similarly you can download it here or you can undergo the pathway entry to see the more information about this pathway so by this you can see the complete information of a particular gene that whether it is involved in any pathway and if it involved in any pathway so how many pathway and you can also clearly get these pathways like here and if you scroll down this table after the pathways so you will see disease option so here it will show that this gene is involved in a specific type of gene, uh, disease or not now clearly these are other information like here motif so motifs are the super secondary structures so is there any motif present in your gene or not so this will be given here so you can just click here these are the motifs present in the gene so you can click here to see the motif these are the other database in which your gene is present like the ncbi gene id ncbi protein id so these are the other database in which the same gene is present this is the position of your gene that is present on the x chromosome this is the position and this amino acid sequence so it is of 1257 amino acid long gene so this is the amino acid sequence of your gene that is we are searching for the insulin gene so this is the you can say amino acid sequence of that gene this is the nucleotide sequence of your gene you can clearly see this one 
so by scrolling down the table you will get the other information and if you want to know about the pathway so you can stick to this pathway column and just click on the pathway one by one and you will get the complete information of that pathway and the involvement of your gene in that pathway so this CAG database is very much important whenever you want to see that whenever you identify a particular gene you want to see its function or you want to see its involvement in various pathways so in that case this CAG database will definitely going to help you so this is all about this you can say the CAG data pathway and how you can search for your gene and involvement in the different pathways so hope you get a basic information about this CAG pathway so this is all about the CAG pathway see you in the next video guys thank you very much